I came here to kill you, father. Your life was the price I had to pay to finally get my revenge. You're going to spare me? In a manner of speaking. The world must believe you're dead. The Queen, everyone must think I killed you. I hope you find peace, son. We must hurry. Any delay will arouse suspicion. I'll bring the letter of transit tonight. Actually, would it be possible to bring two? We had a son. Yikes. If you didn't want me to change, you should have let me die. I'm sorry. That was never her intention. Oh, she's totally willing to do it. I will protect my family. No. Oh, Emma. That was embarrassing. So do they take their bodies or they're literally just taking their spots? Because it's, mm, cause it's kind of funny if that's the case. Because right? one of them wants to be a teenager. It's <laughs> time to drop the act. You can't just sit back and watch another family be destroyed to get your revenge. What makes you think I can't? Because of what we swore to never speak of again. I know the real reason. You don't want to talk about what you did to your father. What kind of man do you want to be? We're all braver than we think if we just look deep enough. Sleep tight. I'll see you in the morning, Leo. Wait, what? Wait, what? Did you have another kid and name him Liam? Did you just not... want Killian? Huh? Was he really that easy to replace? I wasn't trying to replace him. I was trying to honor him. To honor you both. So that I'd remember never to make the same mistake. But you only had one kid. Were you planning on naming your second one Killian? You're just not worth it. What about the kids? I might not be able to kill you, but I can stop you from interfering. You're also a dark one. Why are you not able to... That's enough. What do you think you're doing? Being the man I want to be. You can't stop us. I guess what Regina yes, said. I can. It meant something. Killing and you can't do this. We both know there's no other way, love. We have to hurry. The darkness won't stay trapped in Excalibur much longer. Take it. No! You have to help me, Swan. Take it. You have to let me go. Let me die a hero. That's the man I want you to remember, please. Oh god, that looks that that looks janky as. Yes. Oh god, that looks even jankier! They're like just wobbling it themselves. I get what they're going for, but it looks like she's just gone. <laughs> Head away, you shouldn't be watching this shit. to me again oh. okay you are just as bad for oh. you were truly selfless and you Your that's enough for you <laughs> bill you bounce back and forth more than a rubber ball i'm just saying at some point this is your own fault <laughs>
Also, what the hell happened to Will? Anybody? I uploaded the, um, like the episode with Lily. Remember she was gonna like find her dad? What happened to that? Ooh. You gave it good. She's passed out in the bed like that. You gave it to her good. It's the dagger. It's calling to me. You're upset. But it's I'm destroyed. Sure no, I'm not. It's here, isn't it? You have it, don't you? Yes, I do. Wait, what? Huh? You are the dark one. Again. Yeah. A small vial of magic was close at hand. One sprinkle. And I knew I could get it all back. I turned the sword into a conduit. Hook sacrificed himself and you took that from him. <laughs> Do you? Rumble! I now have the combined power of every dark one who ever lived. Including you. So this Rumple becoming a hero storyline oh, was one. completely useless. He literally said, like, you know, he was going to be a good man. Like, oh, I'm so sick of this. Like, stop. Like, I get, I get it, okay? He's really good in the role. I get that he's good at being bad. But you need to commit to something. You can't just, like, I'm sorry, but you can't low-key him. Like, you know how Loki is like, oh, you can trust me, and then he betrays you every single time. You can't do that. You, you, you have to commit to something at some point. That actually really annoys me. You're going to hell? The underworld. That's quite a distinction. I'm getting him back. This isn't fair to Killian. Gold tricked him. Everything he gave up was based on a lie. Emma, you know how this works. It's a I mean, one-for-one one trade. Though. To get him back, someone else will have to die. And you just got back from being the Dark One. You can't give into darkness again. I won't. I'm giving into love. Okay, but you who's gonna take his heart. place? So will we. Yeah, I already didn't like that. Do it. Oh my god, it's like a promotional picture. <laughs> So we're not even gonna have Hook be gone for at least one episode before we're like, let's go save him. There's no emotional impact from the death then. Gosh, making a fatal soggy. Hook, I will find you. I will always find you. Alrightio, well that was Once Upon a Time, Season 5, Episode 11. Um, we didn't even go half an episode either, with Hook being dead, before we're like, let's go save him now. Like, there's no emotional impact from his death if we're just going to get him back, and I don't appreciate that. The thing that I hate the most on television nowadays is that death is meaningless and when someone dies I'm supposed to feel really bad about it but I don't because they come back within an episode or two and it ruins the feeling like it you meant like you're sad because a character dies and you're not gonna see them anymore but like I anticipate seeing them again because you always do nowadays. Death has become really meaningless and it's it's kind of really frustrating to me. Um, like it even like like even on shows like Game of Thrones, for example, like yeah, at the start they had like very impactful deaths, you know, but then by the end of the series it was like death was meaningless even on that show. Everyone had such heavy plot armor that it was like... So, that's just like a nitpick that I really have of a lot of TV shows, um, and that is now including this one, because literally he wasn't even dead for very long. Um, I really don't like that Rumple yet again is the dark one. 
aren't we tired of this by now? Like, aren't we tired of Rumpel, like, screwing people over? Like, you want me to believe that he can be a good character, and then you're like, haha, I'm gonna pull the rug out from underneath you. When, like, you need to commit to something. He's either evil or he's not. And having Belle just fall for his tricks every single time. I don't even feel bad for her anymore. <laughs> it's your own fault at this point. So yeah, that just kind of annoyed me. But, however, we are going to the um, Underworld. Uh, next episode's the 100th episode, so I assume we're going to see some people that we've seen in the past. Um, which, I mean, just adds to my death is meaningless um, conversation. But, I am intrigued to see who we're going to see. Um... What did you guys think of the episode? Um, do you think I'm being too harsh? I don't know. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Uh -oh.